previously on the halls. As president of the freshman class, I can't just sit around and let the whole school rally around Jerry. How are you doing? I was gonna tell her about herself at the party, but then I don't want to step on your toes. You can do whatever you want. Apparently, if I want to get a girl, I gotta be an ass. I need to let you know, there is no circumstance under which consent is not required. Okay, I think there might be one or two. And yes, in the eyes of the law, it would be rape. What are you doing? Yo! What's up, homie? What's up? I'm gonna catch up with you, all right? I never see you around anymore, man. Uh, yeah, that's because I have a seven month old responsibility. Yeah. An expensive tooth, bro. Do not bro, have to. You don't even have to tell me. I'm not trying to live that life right now. Good. I don't know how you do it. Just do. I've been waiting out there for you. So you walk into the men's weight room? What? Everyone judge. I left something in the car and I need your key. Look, I'll get it. Right? And don't look at anything. How you know that AP status now? Um, yeah, that wasn't bad for me. You? It's killing me, bro. Well, I can help you out if you want. Yeah, because you have all the free time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> trying to help out, homie. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, man. Yeah. Last night was cool. I've never seen that side of you. Shit. Nah, I know. I think you're special, too. Special? Nah, I never met anyone like you, either. I saw a surprise you say you was a freshman. Fresh? Yeah, your skin is so soft and sweet. Like, like, like a honey bun. Ugh. I definitely need another date. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to that. Catch you after school. Oh, bro. Not really. You almost lost that one. Honey bun? <laughs> Honey bun? Yeah, it's like about a musical. God. Yeah. She was feeling it though. She said she'd let me open that package too. <laughs> oh, who was it? Let me guess. Monica? Yeah, hell nah. She's a rat. I got a freshman. Shafira. You know the one with the glasses? And that cute face? Oh, her? <laughs> Dude, does not look at all like that girl's getting it in. <laughs> I was with her last night. I know for sure she got way more experience. Some of these washed out upper class. Yeah, what? Man, you need to chill with that. Nah, for real. The team's taking a lot after what happened to Jay. Yeah, he's right. The last thing we need is you chasing some freshmen. Hey, man. She's not just some freshman. She very well made me the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're one corny kid. Make sure you lock it. What is she? I need you to do me a favor. I never asked you for anything, and I think that's pretty noble considering the situation. Tell my father I don't want to see him. I don't care what's in his card. I, I, I don't have time for him like that. Quincy, you need to. No. You're not going to tell me what I need to do. You, this is not going to be a discussion. I'm asking you to tell him or he'll be really disappointed the next time he just decides to show up. Okay, I understand. Okay, I got it. But there's something he needs to tell you. You're doing it again. What language do I need to speak to have you guys understand? I do not want to see him. And you need to let him know that. You know, because you're his boyfriend and all. Keep your voice down, please. Oh, so it's okay for y'all to disrupt my life. But then when it comes to your little down low gay guy setup, everything's all hush hush, huh? Unfortunately, I can't control other people's reactions. So yes, I'm asking respectfully to keep your voice down, please, if you would. This is my job we're talking about. And it's clear you're misinformed if you think I am not proud of who I am. Do not confuse my privacy as a professional with being down low. 
I have no shame. None. The bottom line is that I want my son around that lifestyle. Come on, come on, Quincy. You're smarter than Matt. It's not like he can catch it. Maybe he can. He's been copying everything else I've been doing lately. Listen, I'm careful about what and who I expose him to. This is not a choice I made, Quincy. I was born like this. I don't agree. You don't have to. You tell me this. If my father was born like this, then why marry my mother, have me, and then go gay? I can't answer that for him. Exactly. I will tell him you don't want him to come over unannounced. I will do that. Thank you. Quincy. It's going to break his heart, do you know that? Yeah. Two broken hearts versus one. That ain't a bad deal. Hey. Hi. So, what are you doing? Chilling. That's cool. <laughs> so why'd you call? You know why I called. <laughs> I want to hear you say it. <laughs> I'm feeling you. Oh yeah? How much? Where have you been? What do you mean? The daycare called and said no one came to pick up Lucas. I had to leave work early and they charged me $50. I thought you said you got out early every third Wednesday. Not this month. I told you. This month was different because of the training. Well, obviously I forgot. It's not like I didn't pick up Lucas just on purpose. I didn't say that. I'm just saying you need to pay a little more attention. Really, Vi? You're going to go there with me like that right now? Please don't shout at me. I'm not raising my voice. I'm just saying I just got home. I don't understand why you're throwing all this stuff at me. It's not stuff, Quincy. It's responsibility. So now I'm not responsible. I didn't say that. Because in seven months, I bought a car, I found a daycare that works for both our schedules, and I arranged a pickup nearly every day. You don't need to list your accomplishments, Quincy. Well, then what do I need to do to make you understand that a slip-up is just that? It's one slip-up. I am just saying that as much as we can, we've got to keep slip-ups from happening. And how do I do that, Vi? Because trust, something's out of my control. If that weren't the case, we wouldn't have gotten pregnant to begin with. See? That right there. There you go, throwing around insults that aren't necessary. Oh yeah, something else I gotta work on. But trust, you are not doing me any favor by cleaning up your character. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but you're acting like some kind of moral police, and I'm not feeling it. Nice, Quincy. I'm going home. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs>